Hi, in this video I am going to show you how you can connect any ST7789 SPI TFT display with 240 by 240 pixel with 7 pin and without CS pin that means Chinese clone of this ST7789 display with any ESP8266 based board. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So here I am going to use Wemon's T1 board. So all the circuit diagram and code link will be given in my blog. So do check out the link from the description. Still I am seeing how I am going to connect it. So there will be 3.3 volt and ground will be connected with the display and two p digital pin. Any two digital pin I can connect as RST that's means reset and DC pin. So this two pin is not fixed, but D5 and D7 are the hardware based. SPI pin so this two pin cannot be changed and this two pin is only used for SPI interface the last pin of the backlight is not going to be used so according to the display diagram given in my blog I am going to connect it that connection with the display and here you can see I have already connected but the last pin did not connect it. so total six pin is now connected with the Wemos D1 or any other ESP8266 based board like node MCU so now just upload the code and check it in this tutorial, I am going to use the platform IO. If you do not know how to use platform IO, then watch my previous video of platform IO how you can use it and how you can install external libraries. So, I have already included the Adreno.h, SPI.h, and as well as Adafruit graphics library, and as well as the ST7789 header file. So, after this, I have four times declared the DCP in RST pin and other S clock. So all the pins have been given there, 4 pins and other pins are basically 3.3 volt and the ground this does not need here to mention. So after this I am just initializing the display and passing the value. Remember one thing when you are going to use any kind of special function, user defined function inside this platform IO, always do the user defined function or function code before the calling it so here you can see I have all some field rectangle kind of this void field rectangle this kind of thing I have called but the main function and the word loop or voice setup all after this user defined function because the platform IO compiles code from top to bottom so if any kind of up before calling you did not mention the function and you are calling it, it will not compile the code so remember one thing so that's all I am just now going to compile and upload it with the we must do one so let's see how it will look in the display so finally you can see our ST7789 based display is working very good there is the text is coming bold there is some digit coming small caps small size large size everything is working perfectly and here you can see some graphics your color graphics is there and here you can see using Wemos D1 it is working on the SPI interface so this is the very good display at very low price under three dollar you can buy it and already I have given the buy link in the description so always you can buy it from there and do check out the code and other links from the description in my blog so thanks a lot for watching this video if you are facing any problem do contact me and comment here i will respond to you as soon as possible thanks a lot for watching this video see you soon till then goodbye and take care